Happy December! If you didn't know, now you know. I love the holiday season and I love all things holiday. I mean, I don't only just love the Christmas season. I love 4th of July. I love Easter. I love St. Patty's Day. I love Valentine's Day. I have decorations for all of it. So on today's episode, I thought I would share with you what the holiday decorations look like this year. I did a little bit less because we just had the house designed by my amazing friend Jenna. And I don't know, I just was loving the look of the design. I didn't want to overcomplicate it with a lot of things. So I kind of dialed back my holiday decorations, but I still feel like it's cozy and it's charming and it's reflective of my traditions and what makes me feel happy and at peace during the holiday season. So I'm gonna show you that. Then I thought we would have some fun with maybe some of my favorite things that I've been loving the last month or so, but honestly, some of these have been on my favorite things list for years plus in hopes that if you need some ideas for the holidays, these would be some stocking stuffer ideas. And everything I'm gonna share today for sure is less than $50. Most of these are less than $30. So if you have another lady, maybe it is a friend or a sister or your mom that you're like, I know she makes the holidays magical for everyone else and I'm not sure if she always gets her stocking filled and you wanna do it for her, here are some ideas for that. I actually love gifting my friends with things that would go in their stockings. I'm like, hey, just put this in your own stocking and open it up on Christmas morning to make them feel special. So here's some ideas for that. Or if you're just wanting to buy yourself a couple things right now that are kind of fun and make you feel good, there's some ideas for you too. Uh, oh, and last thing, I'm going to my first favorite things party. Have you guys heard of this? One of my girlfriends is putting it on for our friends and I'm super excited about it. And you go and you bring like three items that are your favorite things and then you kind of put it like, I don't know, we put in a pile and then we draw numbers and you walk away with a few of other people's favorite things. So these are some of the things that, well, my friends might be watching this that I might be bringing to the party. They just won't know which ones, but if you, are doing a favorite things party. Here's some ideas that might help you out or would love to know what are some of the stocking stuffers that you love to be given or you love to gift to others. Share in the comments, would love to see those ideas. Okay, so let's get going with today's episode. Now, I don't have any food or drink favorite things to share right now. Truth be told, I pretty much just eat and drink all the same things for the holidays. So I'll be going to Trader Joe's to get a bunch of my favorite cookies and candies from there and some of my favorite drinks like I do love a good pumpkin beer during the season and I love a good Christmas ale. Nothing changes there. Make sure you do head over to my Instagram this month because I am gonna be sharing some of my lower calorie but not losing out on any of the flavor cocktail options as well as a new breakfast casserole that I'll be making for Christmas morning that it's got a nice little spin with it because it has roasted sweet potatoes, so there's no bread in this one. So if you're gluten-free, this is a great option for you. So head on over there, don't miss those reels. I'll be sharing those soon, but today it's all about things we can gift to ourselves or gift to others. Okay, let's get started. I have some clothing, some fitness stuff, and some face stuff. That's what I'm, I'm sticking with today. Clothing, fitness, fashion, fitness, and face. So let's go with face first. I still, I ask everyone, like, what's your favorite mascara? What's your favorite mascara? I just can't get away from this. I found it when I was nursing the boys. You know when you're a new mom and you're sitting in that rocking chair at three in the morning, you're like, what do I do? I'm just feeding my babies. I would get on social media and I would scroll and I would look at ads and I would shop because it felt really good. And a, another mom friend was like, you've got to try out the Thrive Mascara. And I still, since 2018, I have asked so many people and this is just by far my favorite. Like I have not found something that I love better that gives me like fullness in my lashes. And I also wear contacts. And so I was kind of worried that the fibers would like get into my eyes. But actually what I love about this the most is that it washes off so easily. So when you're going to wash your face at night and you know, like a normal mascara and you're like, God, I can't get this residue. And it just looks like I've, you know, had a night out and it's still there from three nights ago. Anyway, that's what I love about this one. Washes off beautifully, but I am not kidding when I tell you it gives my eye eyelashes so much fullness 
That's my favorite. So still, if you are looking for a mascara for yourself to put in that stocking stuffer, this is still my favorite. I know a few of my friends have shared other mascaras with me that I like, but I just, I keep going back to this one. Been wearing it for almost five years now. So that's my favorite there is Thrive Mascara. Okay, let's move on to, oh, this is a newer find. Does anybody see this brand at like the drugstore or like the grocery store? It's Revolution. Can you see that? Okay, so I've been on a hunt for a new bronzer. I have asked on Facebook multiple times. I do polls in my story and I've tried a lot of bronzers, cream bronzers, different brands, MAC bronzer, and this one actually gives me the color I was looking for. And I'll try to open it and show you this, but it's a nice like sun-kissed look, but you kind of see how it's like a little bit shimmery. See that? It's super nice. And so this is the one I've been loving. The color is called Long Weekend, if you can see that. There we go. And again, I got this one at our local grocery store, which is H-E-B, but it's like a $10 bronzer. I don't even know if it was that much, but I have been obsessed with this one. I finally fi feel like I found one that I like. So if you have another lady who likes bronzer, I'd recommend it. Okay, moving on. Now, one of my girlfriends who's hosting the Favorite Things Party um, actually gave this to me last year. She gave me like a big bag of like stocking stuff or things and it's one of my most favorite things to go through and try all these new little products that I never would have even had even thought to get for myself. But she got me this face roller and she was like, yeah, it's like this beautiful massage that you can do every single day. And she's like, you use a little bit of serum and then you just sit there and you just roll your face and it's just so relaxing. And now the boys love to do this with me, but I'm not kidding. After like a, a night where you don't get much sleep or maybe you eat food that's a little bit more inflammatory and you can feel it in your face, you put a little serum on and you start rolling away. I swear that puffiness and water retention goes down right away. And it just, it's cold and it just feels so nice. It's like your own little self face massage. So that is my second thing. This one, I don't know where my girlfriend got it from, but I've been getting them on Amazon for like $7 and they're so nice. And then this is from my esthetician. So I'm sure you can get whatever kind of serum you like, but I've also been using a serum with it. So I put a couple pumps of that on first. Then I do the roller every single morning. And this is just a really relaxing way to start the day. So again, great stocking stuffer for a mom. So husbands, if you're watching this, this would be super special to put into their stocking. So those are my first face ideas. And then this is my last face one. I have tried a lot of different concealers and I, I wear the Luminous Silk Foundation. Actually, I still love the Maybelline Long Stay Foundation, but everyone was like, you gotta try out the, um, the Luminous Silk Concealer. And so that's what I have been using. Now this one is just the number that the guy told me was best on my skin. It's 5.25. I don't really know that much about it, but I will say I have bought like three tubes of this now and I put it right on the inside of my eyes and on the bridge of my nose and a couple like sunspots here and there. And and I've tried a lot of concealers and this is by far is my favorite and it really does feel silky, like luminous silk. So this one was probably actually besides the mascara, this one's probably my most expensive product. But again, everything's under like $35. So that is my go-to concealer right now. Okay, moving on to jewelry from Amazon, which I think, you know, they have some cute stuff, especially if... Um, if you lose jewelry, like I do, this is great. So one of my coaches, Elena, if she's watching, she had really cute pearl earrings on when we went to the pink concert. And I need to wear lightweight earrings because I do have like a stretched earlobe. I don't know if you can see that. Either way, it's really hard for me to wear heavy earrings now. And these are so lightweight and they are the cutest little pearl hoop that I've just been dressing up outfits with. So if you can see, it's about like that big. Right, so it's not like overly big, but it's pretty cute on. Again, these were like less than $10 on Amazon. And the brand, I pulled it up, is, you know, I'll link all this. I don't even know how to say it. But I've actually had a few earrings from this brand on Amazon. So these little pearl earrings, I think, would be a fun little stocking stuffer for a lady. And then I just love, you probably see me wear these all the time. These little star earrings, you see that? Again, if you struggle to wear heavy earrings, these are so, so lightweight and found those on Amazon. All right, let's move on. Strange one, but I'm gonna show you my, my two favorite pairs of so socks 
that you could put in your Christmas sock, in your stocking. So these are the Ugg socks, okay? So you can see those right there. And I think they were $20 around then, but I had seen another like influencer wearing them and she was wearing them with those platform, chunky, suede, like cozy boots. Do you know what I'm talking about? And then she had been wearing them with like the Ugg or the faux Ugg slippers that are the platform slippers. Um, I actually don't have either of those, but I've been wearing them with just like a Chelsea Lug short boot and they are a, so cozy, but B, they are super cute on. So if you are in a cooler climate or you just like cozy socks, these are definitely a winner. They're pretty tall too, can you see that? So love those. And then for an athletic sock, more of a fitness sock, I had been seeing another girl that I follow on Instagram wearing these and they come in gray, a cream color and white and they all have stripes at the top. So the brand is Antrop. You see that? Okay. But see how they have the stripes at the, the top and then that's the color. They go up about, mm, not even mid calf, a little bit lower than that, but super cute with my Nikes. And so been loving that for a fitness sock. And the last thing from Amazon that was more fitness, I, I, I actually do work out in these, but I just really love this look with a pair of leggings or a cute jean. Are these Nikes? My girlfriend Emily had these and I just thought it made her little fall winter outfit so cute. And there's the, so I'll show you this part, okay? There's the Nike, cute little like green detail there. I don't remember which ones are these called. Okay, I'm forgetting, because let me tell you, I love Nike, so I have quite a few. But anyway, I love the stitching on the front. It just has a little bit more of a special detail to them. So that's those shoes. Cute little, This these might have been like 60, 65. So I guess I did have something over 50, but you know. All right, let's move on to a few clothing items that I'm really digging. And that'll pretty much be all of my favorite finds for today. And then friendly reminder, don't forget to go over to Instagram. This month, I'll be sharing some healthier cocktails and some different ideas for your Christmas dinner or party or brunch or whatever that might look like for you. All right, so let's get to it. Hold on. Okay, I bought this one from Amazon last year in a little red plaid color for the Christmas season. And I loved it, because see how it's a little bit longer at the bottom? And you could button it up, do a cute little tie, wear it with jeans, but I love keeping it open with a little cropped rib tank top and I'll wear leggings or jeans or whatever that looks like. So this is an Amazon find, as well as this little tank top, right? So it's a little spaghetti strap, but it's ribbed. It's a perfect little crop. They're very similar to some of the ones that I see at Nordstrom or like little boutiques around town, but you can get a three pack of these. So I have the dark gray, a little light taupe, and a darker taupe for like 20 bucks and they look perfect under here. So that's my first flannel and I liked it so much, I got it in another color. So let me show you color number two. This is more of a fallish color. So you see like the nice rust on it. Now with this one, I would probably wear it with the, the taupe colored tank top. In fact, we went to a winery the day after Thanksgiving with some of our friends. We're gonna make that a new tradition. And I wore it with the little taupe tank top, a pair of Levi jeans that I got from Amazon and then some tall boots. So there's a, a nice little color again longer in the back. I keep it rolled up to have a little bit more of a feminine look. So that is flannel number two. Okay, last thing is I was on the search for a longer jacket. Now I have a couple shorter ones from Amazon from last year, but I wanted one that hits more mid calf for when it's a little bit cooler in Texas, because I can kind of get away with like a long sleeve or a sweater under this and I'm warm enough. And I was looking for a black and white one. So I found this one, can you see like the cute black and white color on it and it is pretty heavy like it's pretty warm but I just wanted to show you the length of it and I've been throwing this on with leggings with jeans with a sweatshirt underneath a t-shirt a tank top but you see how it hits right there like mid calf so it's definitely a longer jacket but I just think with a little open fit it's super cute for the fall and the winter so that's my last fashion find. Okay, so I'm gonna show you some of my Christmas decorations. So I did get this new tree 
off of Amazon. I did like the flocked one. I asked my girlfriend Jenna that designed the house. I'm like, what would look good in here? Because I needed a new tree anyway. So we do have the new tree. And then I just st stuck with my normal like special ornaments, right? So like looking at that one, like I love the little dough ornaments. So this one, I tried to do a theme and I put some color on it. I just stuck to red and then kept our family ornaments. And then over here, I did the matching lit garland. Again, Jenna sent me that from Amazon and I stuck with our normal stockings. Honestly, I wasn't sure if red would look good in here, but it ended up being pretty cute. These are like old ones from Target and Michaels. My little joy sign usually lights up and then just some little reindeer and more trees. So that's what I got going on in this room. Again, I didn't do all that much. You're gonna see all my stuff I was just showing you. I do still have some of my cute pillows out, right, for the holidays. So we got that going on. And then over here, Again, I kept it a little bit more simple. So I just put my white ceramic tree from Amazon from last year. And then over on this side, have my little gingerbread nightlight. I like keeping that on. And then I'll take my Hallmark ornaments. Those are all my cupcake edition. And I put them on a little cake pedestal just for a little more pop of Christmas. So that's what I have in this room. And then on our bar cart in our living space, I, one of Paul's aunts from Denmark had sent me these and I just feel like it's cute, right? There's so much going on on the bar cart. I didn't really know what else to put. So I just popped those three little Santas in there. I am still working on the tablescape here. So right now I just have my garland with my little fairy lights and some ornament garland on here. I'm looking for a couple more things. And then I kept it really simple over on the buffet server because again, Jenna had decorated it so nice. I didn't want it to be too distracting. So I just put up a couple little things that I like that are black and red. My mother-in-law had got me this the first Christmas we were in Texas. So I just kind of popped that in there for a little pop of red and then another reindeer. Okay, and then this is what we have shaken in the playroom. They love to have all their little Christmas stuffed animals and their little tree, which they put their little ornaments on. Well, these are actually ornaments that are from Paul and I, but they decorated this one. They put their kid ones on my tree. So that's what we got going on in the playroom. Okay, so that's all I have for today. I hope you enjoyed some of my favorite finds for fashion, face, and fitness. And again, if you have any ideas, would love to see those. Either DM me over on Instagram, drop me a comment below. And I hope that you ladies are already having a magical start to the holiday season. And stay tuned. I'll be sharing more holiday fun in the next couple weeks. Okay. Happy early holidays.